Hi, everybody. Okay. Medium. I'm going to say medium because there's about 25 products here. Uh, Jimu. And I'm going to get to you in a second. Okay. Right back. Okay. I'm going to start with the box. See that box? Barely, huh? Well, let me set these aside and we'll get to the box because I want to show you what I bought to help me in my endeavors of trying to create again since my eyes are so bad. Now, I know you've all seen me using this one here. And it's a clip-on. And it's got a really short neck to it. So it's difficult to work with. And it does work really well. But when I'm trying to get my hands in underneath and not... Um, Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to say it. Screw things up because my arm is hitting the uh, lamp. And I guess it's a magnifying lamp. I got tired of that. So I bought this instead. It only took a few days to get here because it was one of the local warehouse purchases. It was shipped free because it was over $30 from the same warehouse. You will find that if you purchase from local warehouses on Timu, that if it's under $30, you will pay $3 or $2.99 shipping, and that's U.S. dollars. And there are a couple of items I've ended up paying that without realizing that all I had to do was look through that shop and see if there was something else I wanted, and if there had been, you know, add it to so that I didn't get charged the $2.99. But I did on a few items. In fact, there was one purchase I made today that is from a local warehouse. Wow, this thing's heavy. And uh, yes, I agreed to pay the $2.99 shipping because it was under the $30. And there was really nothing else at that shop that I wanted. Okay. Now... The white one I showed you has a very small viewing area. So yeah, if you have eyes like mine where you've got a cataract that's taken over most of one eye, um, it's very difficult. You've got to squint or close the bad eye so that you can see what you're doing. And that's not good because your depth perception is off and everything. So this here was purchased to be my primary lamp. This is taped, <laughs> packaged well, I'm going to say that. And instead of having the controls on a cord like the white one does, this one's got it on the lamp. And this one has a much longer reach. It also has the clamp on for the desk. It comes with its own charge or, or um, wall plug. And of course, everything is USB powered. Uh, this here is for the base. But since I like to move my lamp a lot, I don't want it clamped down. And for the $40 I paid for this, this is the base that you can attach it to instead. This is the top, um, where, oh, okay, that's, I think, where this piece attaches to, I'm not sure, I'll have to look, but it has a pad on the, uh, underneath of it, so it doesn't scrape on your table. Now, I want to put it together, so I'm going to probably take you, uh, off a little bit here and uh, put you on pause while I put this together because I have small things in the other two packages that I want to see if I can actually see them. So I'm going to pause you real quick, get this put together and be right back. I actually figured out how to do this. Um, this piece just came out of there. Okie dokies. But there's a little screw down here at the bottom.
This piece goes on top of here. Now, which way I don't know for sure, but I'm going to put it so that the screw portion is at the back. I'm going to get this a little bit started here. sure it's dead onto those little there's two little uh, they're not for screw holes or anything they're for guides and they fit into some grooves on the top side here to keep it from twisting and turning so I'm going to get that as straight as I can before I tighten it I might actually have to have somebody else tighten it all the way but that should have done it right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this plastic off of here. Well, I'm just gonna cut it off because I don't wanna unroll the USB cord itself right now. it and it would have kept this nice but now there's a slot for this to fit into there's this thing right there so that you can tighten this in keep it from twisting and turning when you don't want it to what that other screw is for, I'm not sure. I don't see anything it's supposed to fit into. All right, nice and tight. And let's pull this around. And it's meant so that this plate counterbalances. Now I do like to have things as close as I can but we'll see how that goes in actual use. Okay, let's untwist this wire tie. Stretch the cord out a little bit. Get its wall adapter. I am finding that a lot of these adapters and even the lamps themselves or devices themselves get real hot and I know that that's an issue. Okay, so I'll get it plugged in real fast. We'll turn that on. Okay, so it has the power switch here. Whoa, that is bright. Let's find something small to have to read. Wow, I don't have to close my eyes or my one eye. And I can see my fingernails are absolutely dirty. So the reason why I bought this is because I have decided I am getting into uh, doing some more diamond paintings. Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> she made it look so much fun, and it actually is. Very calming. And let me see. Is there anything small around me? Yes, there is. These things you can't normally read. Wow, I can actually read that. Now, it does have... Um, a brightener, a dimmer, and it does have different lightings. I usually set it where I've got both tones um, so that it doesn't hurt my eyes as much. If I have it just on the white, it hurts more. And yeah, that, that works fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for now, set it aside, and let's get to the rest of this. I'm going to put this in this bag here, 
that it came with. Oh, and apparently, not only do they have the instruction manual, but a cleaning cloth. That's wonderful. And it is a 10x, so it's a times 10 uh, magnifier. And for me, the times fives have always been weak. So that's my choice is to do it that way instead. Okay, all that stuff put in the same bag so I know exactly what it all goes to. And as far as the wall outlet portion adapter, that also will um, stick with that cord at all times. That way I know it's the proper adapter. All right, I'm gonna put this other lamp away now. Here we go. I'm so excited. There's a lot of stuff in these bags. Ah, this one came by UPS. Uh, one bag has 15, another one has seven, and there's also uh, a free item. So let's get this opened up and plow in. I'm gonna bring you down also so that you can all see what I can see. Um, but I'm going to pause you so nobody gets seasick. All right. Ah, oh, yes. I bought these for Halloween. Do you know my October ween? I wear um, Halloween garb before Halloween itself so that I get into the mood. These have a jack-o'-lantern face on them. i got to see where my camera is. i got to raise it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now I know where to place everything. So what? Let's go ahead and turn you just a little bit that away. Okay. Let's see if they fit. Stick this on my big old swollen fat foot. And let's hope it goes on. I get everything a half a size larger than what I'm supposed to be wearing because I have swollen feet. And this extra sizing helps me to be able to wear them. Most items on Timu, oh, I like that. It's a little tight on the swollen foot portion because the top of my foot looks like a, I don't know, a hot air balloon. But it is working and, okay, so they fit. They feel good. And they're kind of canvassy. And they do have a, a kind of an insole that's a little uh, flat. Not cushy, but my feet are cushy enough, honest. Okay, that takes care of those out of the way. Oh, um, that spin scrubber, that thing works awesome. I was so happy with that purchase. Oh my gosh, things are getting clean again. And I've had, you know, the health issues, so it's made it real difficult to clean anything um, and do it well. So, you know, I just kind of wipe at things these days. But now that I have that, oh no, 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 I really get to scrub now. Oh, and it has pads so that you can actually buff out your um, car or even, um, you know, your resin pieces that uh, need buffing. So, I'm happy with it, honest. Wow, I just pull a bunch of stuff out. Okay, let's go with this. This is a window. Um, oh, good lord. Uh, it's whatever, um, light catcher. I wouldn't stick it outside because, well, it would, uh, fade like crazy. But, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm, so oh, okay, I just missed the, um, chain. Apparently. Okay, so it's got a chain. Well, I really need to pick that up, don't I? Okay, there we go. It has a chain. And it does let light through. And it has it on both sides. And it says, please tear off the protective film. Did I say clear, please? Oh my gosh, I don't know. My mouth, my brain don't work together anymore. Anyway. 
maybe if I got some sleep, sleep once in a while, that would be great, you know, if my body would let me. But, um, unfortunately, my bladder don't hold for very long anymore, and, well, every two hours i got to get up to go to the bathroom. And most of the times, I'm not willing to go back to bed because I'm kind of wide awake. Once I'm up, I'm up. And then I get a drop an hour or two, or maybe three later, and I have to go back and take another nap. More cutting dies, and as you can see, they are geared for Halloween. We have pumpkins, bats, skulls, and cats. It's a good thing I have things to put those into now. Also, for Halloween, I don't know, can you see that with all that shine? Probably not, huh? Oh yeah, there we go, without the shine. But as you can tell, these are bats, and uh, they create kind of a gate for your cards, which is gonna be great for my cards. I'm just going to set the molds aside as they come out, and we'll get to those later, because we have a few. And not just in this bag, either. Alright, this is more dies. They're all pumpkins, or jack-o'-lanterns, I should say. And those are going to help me with decorating my cards really well. I wish you could see them all better, but it looks like they even took some of them off in order to fit it in this bag, and I don't know. You'll get to see all those when I start making my cards. This here is a graveyard scene, set of dies. And this is awesome too. I like this a lot. So let's get that back in the bag. I don't really like taking out the ones that's got several parts to it because sometimes they break off and then I lose them. And I do like to try to keep them together in the uh, pages things that I bought to be able to put my dies in. I like the sets to stay together. Okay. Oh. Oh. This. I think most of you will be able to appreciate this. By the way, this outfit I'm wearing. Let's add the two new holes prior to this. Oh, I am pleased with this. Absolutely. As you can tell, this is a pocket watch. It comes on a chain, a nice long chain. And that's the front. I thought that crow was spectacular, the reds in it, gorgeous. And so, now for me to figure out how to open it. <laughs> okay, there's the bottom hinge. So, oh, for eight sake. That does not, oh, that does turn, sort of. No, it doesn't. Does it push in? Nope. Pull out? Nope. Oh, for Pete's sake. I got my thumbnail in there. And it's like it's stripping part of my thumbnail off. There we go. Okay, it's not running just as yet because there's a little tag right here that needs to come off. All right, got that off. All right, there it goes, it's running. You can see the second hand move. I am impressed with this. I just gotta figure out how I can open this better. I love this. This is, oh, this is so Halloween, I love this. Let's put it up where it's going to stay good. Excuse me, I know I belched a little bit. Okay, I bought some more of those little handheld uh, emergency lights where you get to crank it with your hand and be able to use it as a, for a flashlight. They're not extremely strong, and they only have three LEDs, <coughs> but 
Um, let's see, I got a green one and a blue one in the last batch. These are absolutely useful. And they work like they're supposed to. Oh, this one's clear and gray. So you can see where the working parts are. The other ones were kind of uh, translucent, but not as much as that one is. Let's see what color this one is. Because it's all random coloring. You don't get to pick your color. Oh my, a purple or a purplish blue. But as you can see, the translucency isn't as good as the gray one. But they do all work. Just releases that part right there. Give a few squeezes, squeeze that back up, push that back in, and turn your light on. Very handy. I, I love these little doodads. Oh, and that radio um, works fine. The one from the last haul. It has its flashlight. It works fine. And I found that you can charge it from the wall, you know, a wall charger, or in solar. And yes, it does have a port to be able to charge your phone. So that works. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. These are some more clay dye or clay cutters. If I could figure out how to get that open. Please don't make me break my fingernails. Halloween is coming. All right. It's got one I will never use. It's a sugar skull. I don't do those. But it's got a witch's hat. It has a bat. Um, a ghost and a pumpkin. And I do like that they send these in these plastic containers. That way you've always got a place for them. Okay. They're not as large as I thought they were going to be. Because, well, you know, I'm an American, so uh, we don't think about what a centimeter or a millimeter is. But these are no holes and they are for resin. And it just says um, blue gold, 300 pieces, I think. Well, see, now that's where this little lamp comes in play. Yep, 300 pieces. I like that. Oh my gosh. I love this lamp. Another cutting die for Halloween. This one, of course, has got a fire, which is cauldron. Um, this is supposed to be the bubbles bubbling out. It's got a frog face here, frog parts on the inside here, some extra bubbles, and logs. Okay, sounds like somebody's in my backyard. I won't put you on pause for a second, people. So some guy was in my back driveway <clears throat> looking through my things. Um, he's been told to move on and I set my dog outside. The one that's got some energy to be able to go after whomever. So, if you hear a whole bunch of barking, you know what's going on. And I will be getting up and boogieing real fast. Okay. This bag is now empty. And I'm going to get to the molds after I get to the rest of the other bag. Put that in the garbage. Get the other bag. There's a lot of people that don't think anyone lives here at times or at home during the day. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. This was pasted over that, barely. So there's a ripped area here where, and that's a pretty good sized rip. So if anything's missing in here, here we go again, right? I'm just going to leave that there where it was. I'll turn this over open the top and hope that everything is there. That's pretty chintzy to do that. Well, but hey, people don't mind if their stuff is broken or lost.
and the only way to tell if things are lost or whatever, I'm going to have to put, like I said, the molds somewhere else. And this stack has to go in another area because of it coming out of that bag in that condition. All right, this is my container box uh, bunch. Um, this is another pack of them round lights. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's my last video. And I want to apologize for the um, breakdown I had. I will call it what it was. It was a breakdown. And I do want to apologize highly for that. I don't normally always break down like that. It takes a lot to get me to do something that bad. I usually try to keep most of that really touchy-feely stuff to myself because, well, throughout my life, nobody's given a crap anyway, so. All right, this is broken. The latch portion that is like this one right here is completely broke off. And so I can only latch it with one. These items here, they come in four to um, a row or a piece. And these are for uh, things like diamond painting or if you've got uh, beads that you want to separate, those are all good for that. And since I'm getting into diamond painting, these are perfect. Although I don't think they're large enough. All right, broken item number one. I'm not gonna ask for a refund for this. Although I can't even get this part to latch. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. And let's go with the smaller stuff first. This here. I don't, I don't know why they put this where, where it doesn't pull up. Has ones like this. This is how big they actually are. And they're not that shallow. So these are good for when you have beads or other things to sort or even for diamond painting because you can easily have some colors, I found out, that you only want to use um, like five, maybe ten at a time out of, or out of on the painting itself, so um, you got a lot left over, and that's why I said it won't fit in those smaller ones. Okay, next. Looks like it's taped to the now. This one here I also bought for beads. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there. They're a little loose in there, which is good because it's easier to pull them up and out. And that's its size. They also have what looks to be the difficult latches. Not too difficult. Just hope they stay well connected. Oh yeah, and the other item had two, two, four, five, ten, fourteen in there. And I believe this one here has fifty-six. So let's go ahead and put these up there. Hold on, I gotta yank this too. So far, so good. Nothing broken except for the one, which is still doable. You know, I've, and how about that piece right there? Chimneys. They really need to. And this one here is just kind of stuck up in there. I think I might be able to repair that with some glue. At least the chunks are still there. I really hate 
um, having to accept broken pieces on things. I do. But sometimes it's just a hassle to try to return it things, but these weren't all that cheap either. But some more of these. And this is stacks of three, four. Okay, stacks of four, so eight, 16, 32. And I did purchase one of those cauldrons on its own. I did uh, try charging those small pieces and only the two ghosts really um, charged well. The other two barely showed anything at all. So I'm going to buy some glow-in-the-dark paint. And I will paint them myself. But I love these little cauldrons. They have a lot of good detail to them for the miniatures. But that green paint is what's supposed to be glowing, but it doesn't. So I'll buy some acrylic paints that are glow in the dark. Okay. Now, as I stated, one had 15, another one had seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a freebie. I'm trying to remember what the freebie was. Nope, it's not that one. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look. But one, two, three, four, five. So there'd be a total of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think this was no. I don't know. Maybe I am missing something. I'll have to look through my orders. Anyway. A little crushed up box. The foam is crushed. So I can only hope that the product itself isn't. I mean, this is pretty bad. They really, Tima needs to do something with their repackaging of things for these shipments about keeping it in good condition. You know, put it in a box if it's got breakables instead of a bag. Wow, this is just totally destroyed. Please don't let, please don't let it be broken, please. And it's broken. Damn it! Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to edit that portion out. His cane. Has broke off. I knew with that box being as crushed as it was, there's no way that this would have made it in one piece. And I was so proud to be able to get this. I fought so hard to get this one item, just this one, because I absolutely love it. Sorry, I'm picking up foam. I hate that stuff. <sighs> anyway, Let's see if I can match it up. Okay, this part goes like this. So I will glue it, and it looks, it's gonna look like it's glued. There's just no way to get that on there in perfect order for it to not show that break. Oh, anyway, there's his face. This guy is so awesome. I absolutely adore this thing. Do you know that this is actually a character off of Scooby-Doo? I remember this guy. 
And I'm not talking about the movies. Um, I'm talking about the cartoon, the original cartoon series. And yes, there are pieces that aren't supposed to be on there, but okay, I'll sand them off. Let's make sure there's nothing more damaged. And yes, he's got a little bit of shadings of blue on the back, some pink. Don't know why the pink is there. I mean, he's got kind of a teal, aqua blue going on. Anyway, that's the haul. Oh, he does stand, apparently, pretty well. That's the haul. Thank y'all for stopping by, putting up with my crap, because I know, you know everybody's got their own problems in life. Everybody. Um, most people have somebody to share it with, so they don't get so heavily burdened by them. But not everybody does, and I know that. I know that most of all because I don't. Uh, and that's why I, I don't know, I don't know you all personally. And it's a little easier sometimes to talk to people you don't have a physical, face-to-face -face connection with. It's just sometimes easier to get it all off your chest and get it out of the way. And with everybody having abandoned me as of uh, June, the middle of June, well, then... The first week of July, I lost two of my cats. And then four days later, I lost my Apollo. I am facing the loss of his brother, Zeus, soon as well. Um, Apollo was my, he was my rock. And then I've got six other cats that are aging out. And so that's going to be seven more losses for me. And I'm, I'm dealing with everything as I can. Um, I'm going back to the way I used to be where I harden my heart to everything that I can because if I don't uh, sometimes you know I don't have an ocean or a beach to run to anymore to um, let nature take the flow because that's what I used to do I let nature take the flow you know life and death are all part of nature so I let nature take the flow and it was the ocean, the ocean, the ocean that would just draw it away from me. And I would bury my toes into the sand and then lay back and stare at the sky and my surroundings. And it was, it was my way to relax. I have been living in the mountain, well, between two mountain ranges in a valley and for the last near 28 years. And I have noticed that over the, those years, I have become more and more burdened or allowing those burdens to affect me. And the older I've gotten, the long, and the longer I've been here, the worse it's becoming. I need a break. I've never had a vacation in my entire life. Not one. I was caretaker for my younger sister when we were growing up as kids because my older sister, um, well, she was um, the bad seed, I'm going to say that. She was nuts, and she still is nuts. Although I, I don't know her anymore because I exiled her from my life. Um, oh, gosh, 20 year plus years ago, I don't know. A long, long time ago. Uh, she just blamed everything in her life on the same mother that my younger sister and I grew up with. I don't know why, because she was treated like the princess of the family. And so, of course, was my little sister. I was the one that didn't have any known defect or illness other than the mysterious fevers I used to suffer four and five times a year from birth until I was 12, when they finally, um, at a hospital in Texas, figured out what it was um, and treated it and got rid of it. Uh, I was not left undamaged by that. I had ended up with a, a, a pretty bad heart murmur for a long time. The doctors now say that it's completely gone, but yet they don't take it into account on the damage it did to my system in total. When I tell them I have heart problems, they don't see any heart problems on the monitors, what they tell me all the time. And yet the last time when I was there, um, I believe December or March, something like that, uh, 
I don't know. I've been to the hospital so many times that I lose track of the months and days. But they told me I have what is called PAC. And that is, um, oh, premature atrial contractions. That means my heart contracts too quickly. And they haven't looked into what might be the cause of it. I do also know that my arteries are shrinking. Um, I've had blood clot in, uh, oh my gosh, what was it, the end of, well, June, June of 2020. And I had to be on blood clot breakers um, for several months. Now, and I don't have a doctor that actually cares about what's going on. Every time I've told him what more is happening, um, you know, he doesn't order any tests because I don't have any insurance. So he uses that as the reason why he doesn't order the test because, oh my gosh, you'd have to pay cash. And yes, I do have to pay cash. I have to pay in payments for everything I do. That does not mean that you do not exclude me from tests that could possibly save my life. So that's one of my other issues is because I've got all these medical issues going on. I have what's known as spondylolisthesis. It's a, that I was born without the fourth or fifth vertebrae. Um, oh my gosh, it's been an hour almost. Anyways, um, I have osteoarthritis in pretty much every joint of my body, uh, including in my spine, my upper spine. The spondylolisthesis is in the lower spine. Um, of course, I have high blood pressure because my arteries aren't uh, wide enough for everything to pulse through anymore very well. And, oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, my body's become a mess. But I'm trying still, you know. I mean, I, I just wish I could get a doctor to actually um, help. It'd be really wonderful. You know, order up the labs that are needed, the tests that are needed. And stop worrying about whether um, I have insurance or not. It's not their problem. It is mine. So I run through every stupid doctor in this town, and I'm sick of them all. I can't travel to the other towns because, well, let's face it, healthcare in America has fallen apart. And it's, oh, just, it's so much. Anyway. Anyway, love you all. Appreciate y'all. If you really want to know more about my life, let me know, and I'll just make a separate video, or I'll go on live and you can ask me questions. Um, I do want to thank everybody for all the kind things that were said in that last breakdown video. I really do. You guys, I'm, I'm still pushing through the depression. I still have a little bit of it, but... I adapted ways to get out of depression many years ago. And I just sometimes allow myself to do the breakdown because if I don't um, get most of it out, then it gets bottled up too far. Oh, you know what I forgot? Molds. Oh my gosh. Me and my blah, 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 blah. So anyway, let's get to the molds. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, this one and the other one that I'll show up here came out of um, this last package. Okay, what in the world is this? It just says Halloween. I really abhor that. Because I purchased a lot of Halloween molds. Oh, it's a crow on top of a skull. And it's Yes, as you can see, it's a kind of a small one. It's tops, three inches. All right, so that's this crow on the stall. If you want any of these links, please let me know in the comments. I will pop those things right on in to the description box, and I will, right under your comment, I will reply to your comment that I put the link in. And I'm really sorry about all the crinklies, this is the one I was so happy to really be able to get. Wow, this is packaged so much different. I'm not seeing a way to... Open it, other than to rip it open. Oh wait, is this it? No, yeah, yes, yes. 
guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm also having pickups again. Oh, this is going to be so fun. As you can tell from the lid, this is a coffin mold. Now I'm going to turn this one piece over so you don't see that part yet. And there's the bottom. Wow, it's, it's pretty poorly done. But it makes it look more aged and ancient, I guess. So, you know, that is what it's going to be. These are not shiny. They're not meant to be. And then, as you can see, these two parts go together. And there is a reason for that. This has a complete skeleton that is front and back. So that you can glue it together when it's done and have a full skeleton to be able to stick in the coffin. So, oh yeah, I'm pleased. Absolutely pleased. This, by the way, was kind of expensive. I will speed this video up a little bit so that I'm not taking up all your time. But I'll leave it to a speed where you can still understand everything. Oh gosh, please forgive me for that big outburst. That was pretty loud, number one. And it was a, not always an acceptable word. But sometimes you just have to let it out because if you don't, you blow. I used to go out into a field and scream my lungs out. I don't have any fields here to do that. And I can't walk to one anymore. I mean, there's fields all around us, but they're private properties. And this one here, very spongy mold, is a tree, haunted tree, with a gravestone on the side. And a jack-o'-lantern over here. So this one... Oh, there's also a hand coming up out of the grave there. I'm not sure if you're able to see all of that. But that'll be a fun one. And with these kind of molds, other than making sure you don't scrape the inside of them, they're pretty hearty molds. But since they are so flexible, you do need to really allow your resin to cure um, pretty well before you move them around. Okay, next. That's a number. You know, I think the most noise comes from trying to figure out how to get these opened. You know, which end has the gluey area and all that. Very spongy. Oh, this is a snake that has a rose on top of it instead of its head. So, at least I didn't see a head at all. I actually accidentally bought this because I thought um, it had a skull head. But, oh well, you know. I don't have the best eyes, but at the same time, I know what I saw. And then when I put it in the cart, it didn't have that. But anyway, right? Should be interesting before that one. Okay, these here, these are pumpkins. Just plain old pumpkins. No jack-o'-lantern, they're three different size pumpkins. And um, so they're gonna be able to be used for fall and Thanksgiving as well as Halloween. All around mold system. Okay, and the last one. Yep, I think so. No. Is it? No. I don't know. Let me check. Hold on. Yep, it's the last one. The other ones over here are ones I'm setting up for actual crafting video. I have so many videos going right now, it isn't funny. So, um, I'm kind of splayed all over the place. Alright, this one here says pumpkin tripod. Oh! It's not a tripod, folks. It is a pumpkin carriage. Why they call it a tripod, I don't know. Um, it does have wheels right here on both sides. 
and I don't know, like I said, you want to see what these look like. It's got a heart on it and all that. Um, I plan on doing something about that heart because I want to use this for Halloween. But yeah, ask for it in the description. I'll be happy to throw it in. Or ask for it in the comments and I'll be happy to throw it into the description. And uh, I do have many more orders coming in because, well, it's cheaper to shop than it is to try to dig up all the money for my eyes. You know, I, I know I can save the money up, but that's part of my depression too, is because in order to save the money, I use, I spend so little actually on Timu that it would take me forever putting all that money aside in order to get what I need to get my eyes fixed. And time is, you know, the problem. It, it's really the problem. The longer I go without getting the cataracts taken care of, the more the cataracts um, screw me up. So anyway, uh, I don't know. Shopping helps my depression. I depression shop. Bad idea. I know, I know. Believe me, I beat myself up over it all the time. So anyway, thank y'all for coming and watching and listening to my blah, 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 blah again. Um, but I am in a happier mood these days. Um, I do wish I could get to the ocean or, you know, to, to the beach at the ocean. I can't go swimming anymore because I don't have the lung power for it anymore or the muscles. But I can stick my feet in and that would make me feel happy. Really happy. And anyway, yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Um, thank you for subscribing to those who are all new. Thank you to my long-termers, you guys. Um, I don't know. Uh, some of you have been around quite a long time. And some of those that's been around quite a long time have been pretty constant on talking to me through my comments. All right. You know, subscribe if you haven't and you like this stuff. And share if you want. It helps to push that stuff out there so that maybe my channel can get monetized. That would be really great. Um, I have promised myself that I will not purchase one single item if I get monetized. That the money from the monetization and the money I spend on all these products um, will all go into a fund for getting my eyes done. That's all I can say. Uh, I promised it. And so I will concentrate with all this other stuff I've already bought on getting um, these items all done and made so that uh, I've got my hands busy and my brain busy uh, so that I'm not spending. Um, but yeah, love y'all. Peace out.